taking you on a very special adventure. Brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and our friends at American Airlines. After our adventure, please join us as we do a very special craft with a very special guest. My name is Christina Anderson, a flight attendant for American Airlines. Welcome on board today's flight with service from Sunrise on Wheels and American Airlines to your special destination. Today's topic is birthday celebrations around the world. Our first stop is Paris, France. I'm here now and can't wait for you to join me. Buckle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. All over the world, many children and adults love celebrating birthdays. Some families mark the occasion with a big party, while others like a small, quiet gathering. Every country around the world has different traditions and customs to recognize birthdays. Let's get on board our American Airlines flight and travel around the world. Our first stop is Paris, France. In Paris, Birthday parties are usually celebrated on a Wednesday afternoon because many children there attend school for a shortened day on Wednesdays and have the afternoon free. Wow, lucky! Parties in Paris are most common at tea time between 3 and 5 in the afternoon. There are few organized birthday party activities and children celebrate their special day by enjoying fun and free play. In France, People usually choose a simple birthday cake, most often homemade. Decorating the cake with fresh fruit, nuts, and whipped cream is most common. Yum! Ordering a cake from a patisserie, the French word for bakery, is reserved for very special birthday celebrations, like when you turn 20, 30, or 40 years old. The cake is served at the end of the party, and the guests sing Bon Anniversaire, while the candles are blown out after making a special birthday wish. In France, birthdays are celebrated a lot like those in the United States and Canada. Is this similar to your birthday celebration? Fun fact number one, happy birthday in French is bon anniversaire. Now that was fun. Let's hop on board for a quick flight to Germany. Birthday parties in Germany are called Kinderfest. Children wake up to a special cake with birthday candles. Those same candles stay lit until dinner when the birthday child blows them out. Black forest cake is commonly served at the party. This traditional birthday cake is a layered chocolate cake separated by cherries and topped with whipped cream and chocolate shavings. Yum! Fun fact number two. People have been eating birthday cake for a long, long time. The first birthday cake is believed to have originated in Germany 600 years ago. Buckle up. Next stop, the Netherlands. Birthdays are super fun in the Netherlands. It is customary for close family members and the birthday child to sit in the center of a circle while guests walk around them offering congratulations. They use the phrase gefeliciteerd to express their congratulations. Specific importance is placed on the 5th, 10th, 15th, 20th, and 21st birthdays. These are called the crown years. After a very special meal and cake, the guests sing the traditional happy birthday song. The guests shout, Yiper de beep, and the crowd responds, Hura! Does anyone know what that means? If you guessed hip hip hooray, you are correct! Fun fact number three. Tartes are fruit and whipped cream filled pastry tarts served at birthday celebrations in the Netherlands. They look delicious. Off we jet to China. First birthday celebrations in China include surrounding the child with many objects that may represent their future interests. It is believed that if they reach for coins, they may want to be a banker. And if they reach for paper, maybe an artist. I wonder, what would you reach for? The traditional food of a birthday party in China is yi men, 
a very long noodle that symbolizes long life. Fun fact number four, happy birthday in Mandarin is Shenzhui Kualu. Our next destination is Australia. It's a 10 hour flight, so buckle up and get nice and comfy. Australian birthday parties are normally held outdoors. Many families and friends plan barbecues and the festivities include balloons, cake, and candles. The cake has a very special name that has been passed down for generations. Can anyone guess the name? It's called fairy bread. Fairy bread is a thick slice of untoasted white bread, slathered in butter, and covered in multicolored candy sprinkles and then cut into the shape of a pizza. Fairy bread is strictly reserved for birthdays and not eaten at any other time. Another birthday treat is called a lamington. Lamingtons are sponge cakes coated in chocolate and rolled in coconut flakes. Delicious! Fun fact number five, in Australia, the sprinkles on the fairy bread are called hundreds and thousands. Can you guess why? Get ready for another long day of travel. In 20 hours, our flight lands in Brazil, where the homes are decorated with banners and colored paper flowers to celebrate a birthday. At a Brazilian birthday party, family and friends tug softly on the ears of the birthday child, one tug for each year old. The Brigadeiro is the most epic birthday dessert in Brazil. It is a chocolate truffle made with cocoa, butter, and chocolate sprinkles layering the outside. Who wants to try one? Fun fact number six. In Brazil, all guests leave with a party gift bag. This bag is called a lembrancina. The bag contains small toys and candy. Back on board our American Airlines flight, we are headed to Jamaica, one of the Caribbean islands. It is customary for flour to be tossed on the head of the birthday child by friends and family. This is referred to as being antiqued. On their very special 18th birthday, eggs are tossed. Now that's a very unusual birthday custom. Looks like it's a lot of fun and a bit messy for sure. Fun fact number seven, September is the most common birth month in the United States. Do you know anyone born in September? On to the next leg of our journey. We are headed north to Mexico. Mexican families love birthday festivities. A Mexican birthday party almost always includes a pinata filled with toys and candy. Have you ever banged on a pinata and watched all of the candy and surprises spill out? Kids love scrambling to collect as many goodies as they can. The birthday song in Mexico called Las Mañanitas is part of the morning birthday ritual and is sung to wake the child on their very special day. A typical birthday cake in Mexico is called Tres Leches. This cake is a butter sponge cake topped with whipped cream or meringue. After the birthday child blows out their candles, all guests take a bite of the cake. Then the child's face is gently pushed into it so they can have their first taste of the delicious cake. This tradition is called mordida. Fun fact number eight, a quinceanera is the most important and elaborate birthday celebration in Mexico. It recognizes the 15th birthday of girls. Let's head north once again from Mexico to Canada. Canadian birthdays are often celebrated with nose greasing. Nose greasing is meant to surprise the birthday child. Parents often sneak into the child's bedroom with a small handful of butter and spread it on the nose of the child. This tradition is said to bring good luck to the birthday child. Fun fact number nine. In Canada, a wrapped coin is hidden among the layers of birthday cake. The person who finds the coin will be the first to participate in the party games. Wow! We crisscrossed the world on this adventure and experienced many unique and interesting birthday celebrations and traditions. Which one was your favorite? Time to get back on board our flight. Our next stop is crafting. Let's go! Hi guys, I'm Grace, and today we're going to be doing crafts that have to do with celebrations. Mm -hmm. 
My favorite celebration is my birthday because I love ice cream cake and balloons. My favorite type of balloon is the really big shiny ones, but all balloons are pretty cool. Today's craft has to do with balloons. First, you're gonna start out with picking four colors of paper. To make it easier to cut, you can put the papers on top of each other and then cut the circles like that. I'm going to make three circles. After you have all of the balloons that you want, you're going to take your glue, put it on the bottom of the circle, and then stick it on your plate. It's better if you overlap the balloons because in real life, when you bunch all of the balloons together, they're all overlapping. And then you should also spread apart the colors so it looks more colorful and random. This is a fun craft for you to do on your own celebration. After you finish gluing all of the balloons on your plate, you're just gonna take a black marker and draw the lines in. You can just draw random lines anywhere to make it look like the strings. And there you go, there's your plate full of balloons. The next project we're gonna be doing is pinata. Inside a pinata, you can have many fun things. Usually there's candy in it, but today we're gonna put pom-poms in it. You're gonna put the pom-poms in a cup and then put the cup on top. To put the, to make sure that the cups stay together, you can either use a glue stick or tape, but today I'm gonna be using tape because I don't really have the time for it to dry. I'm gonna rip off small pieces of tape and then tape them like this. After you finish taping or gluing, to make my pinata really fun and colorful, I'm gonna take some glue and put it on the cup and then wrap a piece of paper around it. You have to make sure it's all nice and sticky so the paper doesn't fall off. To add your second piece of paper, you should add more glue to the paper that you already put. To secure this a little bit more, I'm gonna add some tape. It's okay if the paper comes off a little bit because sometimes it's really hard to stick it on with the glue because of the wax coverings. But if you have just a regular paper cup, then it might be easier. Now I'm gonna add the paper on the bottom. To make sure that the paper doesn't fall off, I'm gonna add tape again. Now at the bottom, I'm gonna add little fringes. I'm just gonna cut up like this to make it 
extra festive. To add even more decoration, if you have stickers or markers, you can make little designs. I want to make some stars. The fun part about a pinata is that when you hit it, or break it apart, all of your fun stuff that you put in it comes out. Now I'm gonna try to break my pinata. <laughs> oh <no. laughs> Woohoo! I hope you had a fun time making your celebration crafts. Bye! We had so much fun crafting with you today. Come on board for our final adventure, which is gonna be a fun trivia game. I'm gonna ask you 10 questions. Each question has four answers, but only one is correct. Can you figure it out? Well, come on, let's play. Welcome to Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels, Earth Days Around the World Trivia. Question number one. On which day of the week do many French children host their birthday parties? A. Wednesday B. Friday C. Saturday or D. Sunday Most French children host their birthdays in the middle of the week on Wednesday. Question number two. What is the German name for a birthday party? Is it A, Bon Anniversaire, B, Kinderfest, C, Tarty, or D, Celebration? A German birthday party. It's called Kinderfest. What a fun name. Question number three. In which country was the very first birthday cake believed to have been served? Was it A, Germany, B, France, C, Mexico, or D, Jamaica. The first birthday cake was served in Germany. Thank you, Germany. Woohoo! Question number four. What is the traditional birthday party food in China? A, tarties, B, Berry bread, C, cake, or D, yimen. In China, the traditional birthday party food is yimen. I want to try that. Question number five. In which country is berry bread a popular tradition? A, Canada, B, the Netherlands, C, Australia, or D, Brazil. Oh, I want to try fairy bread. Who's coming with me to Australia? Question number six. In which country might people gently tug on a birthday child's ears? A, Australia, B, Germany, C, Mexico, or D, Brazil. Hmm. I guess it's not strange to have your birthday ears tugged a little bit in Brazil. How funny. Question number seven. What is the most common birthday month in the United States? A, March, B, June, C, September, or D, December. This one stumped me. Who would have guessed the most common birthday month in the United States is September? Question number eight. Which country includes a pinata filled with candy and small toys as a celebratory tradition? A, Australia, B, Canada, 
C, Mexico, or D, Brazil. I love pinatas. And we have Mexico to thank for that fun game. Question number nine. Elaborate Mexican parties, known as quinceañeras, are held to celebrate which special birthday for girls? A, when they turn 15, B, when they turn 16, C, when they turn 18, or D, when they turn 21. Quinceañeras are for the 15th birthday. Question number 10. What food is often tossed at the birthday child at an 18th birthday celebration in Jamaica? A, bread, B, eggs, C, butter, or D, milk. This is so funny. If you turn 18 in Jamaica, be careful for those eggs. <laughs> wow, what a fun game of trivia. Thank you so much for joining me for Wheels Up with Sunrise on Wheels, Birthdays Around the World Trivia. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Wheels Up. You can tune in to more Wheels Up episodes via the Sunrise Studios app. Downloadable on your mobile device, iOS or Android, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. We can't wait to see you on our next flight with Wheels Up, brought to you by the Sunrise Association, Sunrise Studios, and our friends at American Airlines.